Could I come in? How can you have the nerve to come over here? To say goodbye, Karen. Well, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Goodbye. And to give you this. What? It's, it's your mother's bracelet. I borrowed it for my wedding, remember? It's your mother's. She gave it to you. I didn't want to take anything that belonged to you. You have got to be kidding. You took Lotus Point. I did not take Lotus Point. I turned it into a park so millions of people could enjoy it. Now, I thought you, of all people, would be thrilled. Thrilled? Thrilled that you conned everybody again? Ever since you moved to Knott's Landing, you've been, you've been cheating and, and stealing. You stole Val's husband. You tried to steal Meg. And you cheated me out of Lotus Point. Just hold on. I'm sorry you feel this way, Karen, but as for Gary and I, we fell in love. Nobody could help that. Nobody predicted that. Nobody could prevent that. And if Val was hurt in the process, I'm sorry. Val's a nice person. She really is. A little dull, but she's nice. And she's made a very nice suburban life for herself here. She seems to be happy. So it all worked out, didn't it? And as for Meg, that was Greg's idea. And to tell you the truth, I'm glad you got custody of her. He would not have been a very good parent. Why didn't you say that at the time? I misjudged him. And as for Lotus Point, Karen, I donated that land as much for you as I did for me. If that was the case, you could have asked me first. You're right. You're right, I should have. And I'm sorry. Because I have always trusted you. And I have always admired your judgment. What's that supposed to mean? It means if I didn't admire your judgment, I wouldn't ask a favor of you. You have got to be getting a favor. Would you, um, please keep an eye on Olivia while I'm gone? to be influenced by me. I didn't say that. I just said I wanted you to keep an eye on her. <laughs> 